family have been connected to the club since the 50s. I'm born and bred Hitchin Town through and through. It benefits the community, brings a little bit of spirit. I've got a centre half who thinks he's messy. My granddad played, my dad played, both my brothers have played, my uncles, assistant managers down here, just following on the family tradition. Everyone around here is part of the players get paid, but everyone else is a volunteer. You've been doing it how long, Sophie? 29 years now, this is my 29th year. Mowing a pitch, clearing up the side of the year, all the leaves and everything around, just trying to make it look as, as nice as we can for people, so they don't, don't come in and think, oh, that's a mess. <laughs> There's enough of it falling down already. Have a look up there. This is Steve's tractor shed. <laughs> it is. Leaves the head grounds when this is with Kate Warren. So it's going to be refurbished sometime, I think. I want a cup of tea? <laughs> 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 it's, what, it's the job I'm doing today. So. <laughs> we will argue we're probably the second oldest football club, and its claim to fame, believe it or not, it actually put money into the first FA Cup. Right. It paid £25 towards the very first FA Cup. What's the biggest challenge of being a, a chairman of Hitchin Town? It's finance. I'm sorry, but it is finance. Players have financial demands. And also now, because the ground is getting slightly old, and um, therefore it needs replacing, lots of things need replacing. And unfortunately, they don't come cheap. What's new the day is cheesy chips, because we've been asked constantly for cheesy chips, so we've got them on this week. And curry and chips. Curry and chips. What's the new avoiders? It's nothing to be avoided, is it? <laughs> Our cooking's good. But the cooking's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Being yeah. non-league football, you have to wait to make sure everyone turns up. <laughs> the, the water ingress issue has been addressed, basically. Well, it's when we had the FA Cup draw here last year, the, the bar rope was leaking. So when it says save HTFC, we're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I took over the secretary about 20 years ago on a temporary basis, and it needs to say it's become a permanent basis. So, uh, so my whole life really has been spent here is the truth of that. Um, missed many games that time? Uh, well, so I reckon I've seen about 3,000. I haven't, haven't missed that many over the years. Um, no, I've been very lucky. I even had a mini stroke at Christmas, but I didn't miss a game. Last Tuesday night we had a friendly at Hemel, just a hastily arranged at Hemel Hempstead, ah. and there were six of us there, and I was, I was one of the yeah, six. That. I was here for three stints as a player. So it's about my seventh or eighth year now. The family have been connected to the club since the 50s. So I'm born and bred Hitchin Town through and through. Yeah. I run my own small property maintenance business. Uh, it's quite handy actually because I started with a few young lads who needed a job. So it's like a, it's like a, it's like a conveyor belt for recruitment. Yeah, uh, they're all gone now because they're rubbish. Allegedly, he, uh, he said something he shouldn't uh, have done to the linesman. Um, so this is the third game, uh, how have the previous two games gone? Where do I start? 
Uh, we've won them both, uh, scored 13, I think we conceded two. So we're on a little bit of roll, so we come here confident, but not overconfident, because uh, this, this will be a tough game. Belly, you want pens? Don't know why. is. Belly, pens? Just score it, Bell. Just play the conditions for and foremost, all right? <coughs> so, 4 4 2 is normal. Right, you slot in a real back. Jackie will back over to the left, yeah? They play a 4 4 2. We, we're playing with a 4 2 3 1, which is what we've already spoke about. With These us. players press on the trigger. Very, very important today because of the size of the pitch. I can't have one player going. Sprinting 30 yards and then everyone 25 yards behind them, so we have to press on the trigger. Your jobs are there on the board. You need to take stock of that. I won't need to be telling you what it is because I'll find out if you're not picking up or not doing your job that'll be sitting there. That's sitting there for, for a reason for you lot to have a look at it. We're in a bit of form now, on a bit of crest of a wave, two wins out of two. We have to win here today. And then we go into choosing the big one. So massive for me. Nice, and and Yeah, I've said, said my bit out there, boys. This is Massive. If we couldn't pick points up on the road, this is where we're going to be there or there about. Heads on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, boys. You got graft. Graft, big winners, boys. That's right. Come on. Come on, 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 Okay, wait, no, comes up a little bit. As you've got to have a little bit of confidence in saying to each other, I can still play, I am in a tight position, but what I do is I trust the person I'm going to pass to who's going to be able to pass again and trust him to make the right decision. You'll never, ever, ever, ever win anything if you keep handing things to teams on a plate. I thought we got rid of that. Another one we handed them. But have you run inside where they've got three men in midfield? On a bog! I've got a centre half who thinks she's messy! You kick it out play! You lost it for a penalty! Listen to what I'm telling you! No pressure on the ball and you kick it in the stand! Then you run inside, they do us and we get we give away a pen! This fella here is doing nothing but he's causing you two no end of trouble! He's a caught in between, you don't know whether to press or drop off! You don't know whether to tuck in or pick them up. You're coming in narrow. You don't know whether to go tight or not. I've never seen a f***ing worse display on the right hand side of the pitch. It's been f***ing awful. We must have good consistency through the next 45 minutes, boys. Because if you don't get that consistency, what will happen is the game will peter out and it'll be a f***ing one-all draw. And then we'll be kicking ourselves when we're sitting in the bar afterwards saying we should have gone and pressed a little bit more, we should have worked a little bit harder off the ball, or we should have Put more crosses in, or we should have got more shots off. Very rare, very rare. I have to ask us to up our quality. We have to today. Take care of the ball, moving nice and quickly. Loads of options. Everyone on the toes bouncing, bubbly, lively, getting their faces. Yeah, but they're mistaking them. They've definitely got a mistake in them. <laughs> Go! 
Start being better decision making final third. Start taking chances, boys. And then we've, look, that's a great result. We've, we've had a few times down here this season. We've not got a point today to get one. It's another game unbeaten. Well done, all boys. Well done. There's no point in me having on. They know. They know. Um, there's naivety in here, Pat. And if um, if we continue to do that, we'll we'll end up a mid-table team. But that's not what we what we want to do. Got to come to places like this and, and get three points, which we should have got today because um, we were better. But you've got to play for, for 90, 90 plus minutes. It's not just, you know, the extra two or three minutes at the end, we, we could have managed it better. And um, that's what's disappointing. If the England team's away or your team's away, get out and support your local clubs. But that's not just on this Saturday, it's on midweek games. You no, know, like different clubs play Tuesdays, we might play Wednesday, another club might play on Monday. Come down and support it because it all goes you know, like into the local uh, community. And as you can see with the kids, the kids enjoy it and they jump on. And it's not just our club, it's like every non league club. But, you know, it's, um, it benefits the community and yeah. brings a little bit of spirit. Plus, it's two pound a pint for cider in the clubhouse. I was going to say, you're going to have a pint with the fans now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a, we're going to have a, definitely have a pint with the fans. <laughs> we're well known for having a pint, a pint with the fans, so we're, we're going to get in there and have a pint with them. It's two pound a pint, so happy days. <laughs> This is my escape from real life, you know what I mean? I come with the lads, have a good time. You let, you just zone out of everything, you know what I mean? So I do enjoy it, man. It's good. What is the real life? Is there a job you have as well? Or? Yeah, I'm a personal, I do PT, I do personal training. But, um, you know, just like stresses of life and whatnot. You come to football, you just forget about everything, you know what I mean? I'm a buyer, I work in procurement. Right. Office, office based. You know, sometimes you have to leave work early, Tuesday night, and travel two or three hours on a coach. It's a bit of a commitment sometimes, but overall, yeah, enjoy it. I'm a PE teacher, um, so that's my day job. Uh, but yeah, I've been down here for a while now, so um, me and me and a couple of the boys have been here for, for a period of time. Um, so we've seen a, a lot of change in and out. I used to work in construction, actually. When I come out of professional football, I said there's not a lot of stuff to do, so I got my success card when I construction and stuff. So it was, a, it was a different, you know what I mean? Like it's very different, and but I don't really want to go into construction. I want to focus on just. Train, the, tra the training Monday, Wednesday and Friday, now so the training Tuesday and Thursday, game Saturday, it's keeping that professional rage, you know what I mean, so hopefully if I do get a break, I can like, I'm, I'm, my body's fit to go straight back into it, you know what I mean?